Hi guys, it's Nika, and it's finally time to do some makeovers for the spooky month. And I am starting with the one and only Lilith Vator. Lilith is such a cool sim in theory. And after you change up her appearance a little bit, girl really needs help. Over the years, I have given her a makeover many times and I loved doing it every single time. I think the last time was about a year ago and this new makeover is really similar to that one. I think I even picked the same hair. Guys, it looks really good on her and fun fact, it kind of reminds me of uh, one of my favorite ASM artists. Uh, although I think they don't have this haircut anymore, but about a year ago, I think they had their hair like that. And uh, somehow Lilith looks a lot like them. Uh, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but uh, yeah, just a fun fact. Lilith briefly appeared in my old Not So Berry. Uh, she was actually dating a co-worker of my mint sim of December. Uh, the co-worker's name was Anita and Lilith actually turned Anita into a vampire at some point. Oh, when I was doing the whole thing uh, with abducting Caleb Vator so that he would have an alien baby. Um, yeah, that happened. Uh, if you know, you know. Uh, so when I was playing with Caleb and waiting for his baby to be born, uh, I was kind of bored and I was doing stuff with Lilith as well and she ran into Anita and I was like, you know what, they're dating, uh, let's, let's turn her. Actually, I'm not sure if they were dating at that point or if I made them date after she was turned, I don't know, but during this time she turned her. Also, Lilith kind of played a little bit of a role in Gen 2. There's this whole unfairic storyline in <laughs> Gen 2 where Ross, my heir, he, he's dating Caleb and he really wants to be a vampire as well. And Caleb is like, no, you don't know what you're asking for. I could never put you through that. And uh, so, you know, Caleb is immortal, Ross is aging, and eventually Caleb changes his mind and he reaches out to Lilith for help because Lilith knows quite a lot of uh, witches and wizards. And back then we didn't even have Realm of Magic, but I had this like headcanon that she had dated a lot of like spellcasters basically and she didn't really have the best experience with them but she still knows a lot about their world so he asked her for help if if she knows about anything because I, I don't know how I did that exactly but obviously Ross was old at this point like he was almost an elder and then the transformation became <laughs> sorry the transformation happened when he was an elder and uh, Caleb was kind of like um can, is there something to make him young again? Because he would not want to be an old man forever, basically. I don't know, Ross is kind of vain. He, he, he's afraid of aging and, and stuff like that. He's very happy to be a vampire and look like he's in his, I don't know, late 20s, early 30s. That's somehow how I, how I imagine it. But he also kind of has a baby face, so I don't really know what age he looks like. Anyway, so, um, sorry that of course I went there. But uh, so Caleb asked Lilith for help. Uh, he also considered becoming a human actually, but Lilith was like, hey, okay, so that procedure, it would likely kill you, so don't even attempt that. But she got him this uh, potion or something and she said, you know, give this to your uh, soon-to-be husband. And uh, once the transformation happens, not only he will turn into a vampire, but he will also age down. Now, I believe something like this isn't actually in the game and I did it with cheats, so I aged him down myself. But uh, yeah, so that, that's what happened. Lilith really helped them. I'm sure Ross wouldn't want to be an old 60-year-old looking man forever. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's uh, there's nothing wrong with aging, but he just, he likes to look pretty and, and young and yeah. But this is about Lilith. I mean, I knew I would go down this road, but I need to talk more about Lilith. So another interesting thing about Lilith in my safe is that she is a doctor. And in the story, I kind of imagined that um, years ago, like a hundred years ago, 
I'm not sure when exactly it happened, but uh, I mean in real life, <laughs> but uh, imagine basically around the time when women were allowed to study at universities and stuff like that. Uh, as soon as it happened, Lilith was like, fuck, I want to be a doctor. And so she went to university and just became a doctor. That's kind of the storyline I gave her. Uh, but obviously in the game, I just she just uh, took her phone and called uh, somewhere and ta -da, she is a doctor. Um, but uh, yeah, I think that's so, so very cool about her that she's like a vampire doctor. She helped deliver multiple babies in my not so berry and I think it is a good sign when she shows up and delivers those babies, helps deliver those babies. I'm not sure exactly what the third in here should be, never mind, let's not think about that. But when she doesn't show up in the hospital and my sim, my not so berry sim is delivering a baby, I'm like, oh, that's a bad sign. <laughs> Something bad is about to happen because Lily's not here. Um, I also, I'm sorry, I'm very excited about this sim. I think you can tell. Um, I also really want to talk about how she even became a vampire in the first place and and why she became a vampire and why her brother became a vampire as well. It is all so very exciting for me, but we don't really have time, so I'm just gonna go now and I hope I will get the chance to talk about that some other time. I hope you enjoyed this makeover, I hope you like Lilith, and yeah, thank you so much for watching. There's something else I wanted to say and I completely forgot, but uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching, I love you guys, and I will see you all next time. Bye everyone!